Here with men's basketball head coach Ben Miller uh, as UNCP captures its fifth straight win tonight, a, a hard-fought 82-76 win over GRU Augusta. Coach, you know, new coming in uh, at the history of this series that this was going to be a tight one, and it didn't disappoint tonight. Yeah, those are – I think those are two top 25 teams going at it. Um, they're really good, very extremely well coached. Um, our guys are playing hard, and we knew it was going to be a battle, but that's Peach Belt, and I think those are two – uh, pretty good Peach Belt teams going at it. So it was a great college game. I thought our crowd was great for not having students here. The attendance and the energy in the building was really good, and that helps our guys defensively. Um, didn't like our rebound, and we got it rebounded seven, but uh, we'll take the win. Now, uh, GRU Augusta coming in, leads the league in field goal shooting. Uh, obviously, the look at the stat sheet. First half proved to be the difference in this game. You guys outshot them 50% from the field and held them to 43% shooting. What did you tell your guys at halftime? What kind of adjustments did you make, if any? Um, nothing major. I think um, we did challenge them offensively to continue to play inside out. I thought early there was a stretch where we settled for a couple quick jump shots. But I thought in the second half, I didn't feel like there were too many marginal jump shots. You know, we can, we'll get good looks from the perimeter, but I, I think we got to attack inside out, um, getting our, our big guys' touches, getting penetration. And usually if you do that, you're going to get better looks from, from three. But I thought overall the second half, we were pretty well committed to that, and our defense was, was pretty darn good for most of the night. Now, before we get into individual numbers, uh, UNCP 12-1 and one matches the best record in, in school history, or the best start in school history, 1991, 90-91 squad, started 12-1, and one, finished 27-5. and five. What kind of confidence is your team playing with right now? Well, they should be. I mean, we've got an experienced team, veteran team, and there's no substitute for that. Um, I do think they have more confidence in their defense than we did a year ago. Um, I don't know that we ever got to the point where we were finishing games with our defense, um, and I think we've been able to do that. Even, you know, the other night against Coker, we didn't, you know, we only made two threes. We didn't shoot it great at times, but our defense uh, kept us, you know, where we needed to be. Um, but I think that's the biggest change this year is the, the confidence in our team defense. Um, although rebounding, we did give up 12 offensive rebounds, and that's, that's unacceptable, so we got to get that fixed. Let's talk about your individual guys tonight. Uh, uh, four guys in double-figure scoring tonight. You got 10 points from Ben Jacobs on two of three from the field, six of six from the free throw line. Uh, Kasheen Hinton with a big night from the field, six of 11, 14 points. Uh, Brandon Watts, a slow first half, erupted in the second, finished with 17 points, 5-10 shooting. Let's talk about Colmaine Rose, though. Big first half, 18 points in the first half, scores uh, a game-best 24 points, uh, adds five rebounds, three assists, three steals. Talk about his his game tonight and, and how much it factored into to the win. Yeah, well, he, he plays so hard. Um, you know, there's not a lot of guys that can play that hard defensively and still have the energy um, to do things on the offensive end like he does. But um, he's kind of the energizer bunny out there, and he just keeps going. Um, but he did have a good night offensively, scoring the ball, but also he had three assists, one turnover. And, um, you know, Griff didn't shoot it great, but he was four assists, no turnovers. And uh, Watts, you know, uh, three assists, no turnovers. So from our starting backcourt, that's really strong. And then you throw Kashin in there, it was 4-2. That's really good um, from our backcourt in terms of ball handling. Now, uh, as you found out last year in December, uh, complete a long, a long home stand on, on Wednesday, USC Aiken comes to town. Learned last year that uh, the rivalry between the two, two teams, that they could come in here and, and end your momentum earlier. What's the key to beating them this year? You know, I haven't, um, I've watched a little bit of film, um, you know, because they played Mount Olive and we've had some common opponents, but really, you know, tomorrow we'll start focusing on them. I know it's a great program, um, very talented, very well coached. They've kind of, they've kind of dominated the Peach Belt the last few years. So uh, be a great test for our team. They've got a lot of new faces, so I, we got to get familiar with their new personnel, um, but it'll be a great, you know, another great Peach Belt game and um, hopefully we'll have an even better crowd on Wednesday.